Hello, hello. Stacy here. Thank y'all for joining me. Um, 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 this is my second video today. And I was having trouble getting motivated, but I'm motivated now. And maybe it's the new canvas. I'm getting to use new canvas. I have, I uh, went to uh, Long Tyler and got some from Michael's and they're in the car still. So I know I have some, so I can use the ones I have in here. So anyway, um, I'm going to put this one aside, this cup, because I made uh, a lot of paint and I'm going to use um, these three cups on this one uh, for my friend. And then I'm going to, I think that's going to be plenty um, for this one. And then um, I'm going to use that other cup and make another one just because I kind of got nutto when picking my colors. I couldn't decide, so I got probably too much paint. But I do that on occasion. I get excited about colors. He said he liked brown, green, blue, and yellow. And I couldn't see all of those together so I made one that was an earth tone piece and then this one is the blue green and yellow piece and uh, in this one is Prussian blue by Master uh, Liquitex, uh, Thalo blue by Master's Touch, Deep Yellow by Master's Touch, Metallic Cobalt, Metallic Cobalt Blue by uh, Artist Loft which is one of my favorite colors, um, Viridian by Master's Touch and I think that's all. Oh, Deep Green by R.S. Law. And Lime Green by Liquitex. I forgot the greens. So we'll see when we can turn these over. It's about time now. I was saying in my last video, I want to mention it again in case you didn't see the last video. Um, this paper that I'm standing on is um, the paper that I use for, see it looks like this, it's actually newspaper. And it's what I use for wrapping my pieces when I sell them instead of buying bags. And I also put it on my floor to keep catch up to catch paint. And uh, you can get it at the newspaper place, you know, where they produce newspapers. And they come in rolls about this thick. They're about four feet tall and about that big around. And um, they're very cheap. It's like $4. $2 or $4 where I go, uh, depending on the size. And so I go and get three or four of them, and they last forever. And they save you from having to buy bags if you sell your pieces. And they save you from having to use newspaper to cover your floor if you cover your floor with something. So I just thought I'd mention that to y'all because it's a really helpful thing to know. Um, it was a suggestion from my mother, and it turned out to be a good one. She has a few good ones every now and then. And um, so I just wanted to pass that along. Also, about silicone, I wanted to tell y'all, too, that, and I've mentioned this before, but... It was helpful to me, so I want to mention it again. Um, I put silicone in each one of these cups, as well as PVA, just the first little dollop that comes out, you know, in each cup. But then at the end, before I pour my colors into my flip cups, these cups, I put some silicone in the bottom. And that makes it where, when all your paints run down, see how it separates? Because the silicone and paint don't like each other, so they separate. And you can see when it's time to flip them over. And that's helpful. Also, it contributes to making cells, I believe. Um, then I put my paint in, put all my paint in, and then I put a little squirt on the top, too, just for good measure. And uh, I just thought I'd pass that along because it's been helpful to me. And, ooh, that's really pretty. I like that. I love that cobalt metallic blue, metallic cobalt blue by Artist Loft. Um, it is a really pretty color. And um, um, and I love Prussian blue, um, the deep, deep blue. Um, this color right here, or that color right there. Look at that with that yellow lining it. And see, here's the metallic cobalt. There's a little bit of it right over there. Um, those colors just make everything wonderful to me. They're colors you just can't do without. And I'm almost out of all of them. I'm going to have to make another trip to Michael's. I'm doing a commission piece that is a traditional um, acrylic painting. I'm doing a couple of them actually. And so maybe when I get paid from those I can, 
I can make another trip to Tyler and get some more stuff. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at those cells. Oh, awesome. So happy. And I think I fixed my porn table. Um, I put some more reinforcements in on that left corner down there. Um, and I think it's helping. Um, I don't want all those cells to run off right there, so I'm going to damn them up. I think it's helping. Um, I don't know for sure, but I'm not having as much problem with stuff running off um, as I was. I had to pour a lot off of there. I didn't want to, but I had to corner that, cover that corner there and it took more than I want, wanted it to. Now here, I want to save those cells that are in that corner that's really beautiful. That's that metallic cobalt blue there. And I don't want to lose them, so I'm damned them up. And then see, you just grate your fingers along the side. Sometimes they get a little distorted, but it's better than losing them all together. The way I look at it. All right, we're gonna get this corner down here. This is really beautiful. I love these colors together. I'm glad that he suggested them. I've used them before, but um, not these exact colors. You know, that's um, one of the cool things about doing this is you can use the same colors and um, you'll still have a totally different piece. You know, but um, I don't believe I've used these exact ones together before. It's amazing looking, I think. The cells and the, um, the way that yellow pops out of there. I love that deep yellow. Um, I use it more often than I do the traditional yellow. Um, I just think it has a, a really, um, uh, well, a deeper um, look to it, you know, and I just, I just love it. And the key lime, well, it's lime, Liquitex lime. Uh, the pigment is key lime, uh, color art pigment is key lime. Um, that color is really amazing and it's in here, but, um, and uh, I love it too. So this has got a bunch of my favorite colors in it. I like doing blue green pieces anyway. Anything ocean-like, um, I like doing. I'm gonna pour some off this corner down here because we just need to pour off some paint. And that's not particularly interesting down there. It will be in a minute. All right. See, I like these layers too. I, li I just like everything going on in this one, just like the last one. Uh, it's hard to pour things off when you like everything. Uh, but I have to. I'm going to get a little bit off here. And, um, let's see. Which paint do we have to work with here? It's very slippery. Oh, hard to hold on to. I really don't want to pour anything else off. It's pouring, there's a little bit more I can lose, I think, down here. I don't want to because it's beautiful, but um, I sure don't want it to craze. Let's just drag that back up there a little bit. And open it up around those cells a little more. Really cool. I'm not concerned if it pours a little bit off that side over there. That's not all that, still not all that interesting over there. I don't want to pour off that part with the veins in it up above because that's really cool. But this corner down here could, could be sacrificed, I suppose.
Sorry, I know y'all can't see right now, but all right. That's gorgeous. Let me dry my hands just a little bit so I can torch it again. I forgot my paper towels. This thing, one of the best things I ever did in this room was installing my paper towel holder in here. I built the shelves in here. I built the paper towel thing. I built the table. And those shelves over there on the side fold out and in. Like when you're not using them, you can fold them up. I taught myself how to do that because I couldn't even find a video on YouTube that would help. I found one, but the guy was standing too far away from it and I couldn't really tell what he was doing. But they're awesome. I don't ever fold them up because I'm always using them, but I got the idea from our RV. You know, because the in some RVs, tables and chairs and different things fold in and out to save space. I already didn't have it, but I've seen some with it, and I thought that'd be really cool in my room. And then I could save space if I wasn't using it, but I'm always using it, so. But they don't take up much space. That's really cool there in that yellow where those cells are coming out. Right in there. The yellow and that Persian blue together is really beautiful. And it's just sailed up like crazy when I hit it with that torch. Yeah, I'm happy with these. These last two I've done. And I'm working on those traditional pieces. I'm um, very new to that. Um, and I won't be making videos on it because it takes me so long. Um, there are some really good videos out there though. Um, Kate Joplin, um, I like watching her videos. She's really good. She's really good at teaching, you know, and, um, for those, I need teaching because I don't know, um, I don't know much about that kind of painting. I just now started doing it. Um, I'll show y'all what I did when I get done. Look at that, that's beautiful. I'll show y'all what I did when I get done with it. Um, the one of them is in there being resined. I resined it last night, and I gotta do some touch-ups on it today. Um, that corner is still kind of bare. I can see some white. How about this one? I see white there too. Okay, these other ones are fine. Alrighty, guys, I'm happy with that. I think that looks pretty. I hope y'all do too. Let me get you down where y'all can see up close. Oh, why does your nose itch every time you get paint all over your hands or you have your hands in resin or gloves on it? That's when my nose itches every time. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, you gonna take a look. Okay, blurry camera there. Look at that vein, blue and yellow. Beautiful. That looks like a patch of frog eggs. <laughs> have you ever seen frog eggs little tadpoles come out of that is exactly what that looks like really beautiful this one these colors um, really good together it's funny when somebody says well I like blue yellow and green I mean you just think basic blue yellow and green at first look at those cells but then when you start looking at your colors and you think, well, of course I'm not gonna go with just basic blue, yellow, and green. And you have all these versions of blue, yellow, and green that you can go with. Look at how beautiful that is. And um, that's what I did. And uh, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. And um, you know, you find that you have all these different cool variations that you can add together and then it's, you know, blue, yellow, and green, I mean, it sounds sort of simple, you know, and maybe even boring, but when you put them all together and you pick the different variations and the different hues that go well together, you can end up with something like this, and it's anything but boring. I mean, I just think that's gorgeous. 
anyway um thank you all for stopping by and uh, please like and subscribe because i'm trying really hard to grow my channel it's very frustrating it's very long it's very tedious it's lots of work and i appreciate y'all doing that because it helps me y'all have a wonderful rest of your day and uh, i'm gonna work on that other stuff speaking of tedious I'm going to work on that other stuff for a while, and then I'll probably have to have a break and have some immediate gratification here uh, with you guys. So, I'll take a break from that. But, y'all join me. I appreciate you being here. I hope you're being st all safe and healthy and washing your hands and doing all that stuff we're supposed to be doing. It shouldn't be too much longer. I heard some places are going to be opening up around us maybe next week. So, hopefully there's a lot at the end of the There's always a lot at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully the light's getting bigger anyway. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks for being here.